Hello YouTube, this is Vaughn2480. I'm here with a quick stamping tutorial. Yes, I am back doing my nails, yay! Um, first, I want to tell you the colors and the stamping um, polishes I use and the stamping plates I use. Um, I polished my nails with three different colors. And then I added like glitters and top coats and stuff like that to it. The first color I used was this color by OPI. And this one says, I'm all ears. The next color is by China Glaze. And this one is Snap My Dragon. The next color I used was my sinful colors, Snow Me White. And I used my Snow Me White on my middle finger only. And um, the China Glaze polish I put on my um, pointer and my thumb. And then on top of those that polish I put this uh, sinful colors kissful thinking this is a new polish for Valentine's Day I found this in Walgreens so I put that on top as you can see on my thumb you can see the little white specks and this is how it looks on the brush So I put that on top of that uh, China Glaze polish. And then I um, use my black Conad polish. And I use my Plain Stampin' Plate Geo Lover. And I did a haul on this one. And I use this image right here. I need to clean it off real quick. And I use this image right here and I put it on my pointer and my thumb and I use my black Conad polish. And for my pinky and my, no, this is my ring finger, sorry y'all, on my ring finger and my thumb I use the China Glaze polish and the Sanford Colors polish excuse me y'all it's late but this is my ring finger and my thumb sorry about that but on my pinker and my pointer finger I um, use that OPI color and then I stamp with my Moon Day they own this white. And I use this stamping plate by Plain. It's Plain Fairy Tale Lover 2. And I use these hearts right here. I also did a haul on this one. Both of those plates I um showed you in my latest haul. And so that's how that looks. And this one. And for my middle finger, I use my Sinful Colors Snow Me White. And then on top of that, I added this LA Colors Color Craze Color. And it's called Broken Hearted. And it's a real sheer polish. So that's how I got that pinkish hue on top of the white. And then after that dried, I applied this Nicole by OPI. And I've had this for some time. Have a heart. And it's just a bunch of clear. It's a bunch of hearts in clear um, glittery polish. And I'll show you a clip right here how I applied them to my nails. I just placed it on a napkin or on my um, Bundle Monster mat. And um, used a um, dotting tool. And as you will see, um, I used a dotting tool to place them onto my nails. 
so that's what I did and I'm just gonna um, stamp my um, pinky and my thumb on camera real quick for you all I'm not gonna be before you long so um, let's get started and I'm going to use one of my clear stampers these clear stampers are kind of tricky as I am learning they are kind of tricky um, certain stamping polishes you can't use with them um, if they're too thick Im the images will not get picked up so I've been playing around with them to see which one works the best and you have to lightly uh, scrape your plate if you scrape it too heavy it's not going to pick up the image so it's just trial and error with these clear um, stampers but I'm stamping the plain fairy tale lover too and these hearts right here and I'm gonna put them on my pinky And I'm going to clean this up. And that's it. Like I said, it's trial and error with these stampers. I may do a separate video to show you all what I'm talking about. And maybe y'all can give me some advice as well. Because sometimes they pick up, sometimes they don't. If you scrape too hard, it won't pick up the image. And I think it may depend on the kind of stamping polish you're using. So I'm not sure. But also, I use a lint um, roller to clean it off. So, we, you just have to be careful. And like I have polish around here. I'm not sure what I could use. To, well, the lint roller is getting it off. Because last time I used acetone, and that's a no, no. Don't put it in alcohol, may get it off as well. I'm not sure. But do not put um, acetone on it. It will mess them up. Or maybe put some tape around it. It'll probably get that off. But anyway, I'm going to clean up and I will be back with pictures. Please stay tuned. 